Hello everyone. My name is Trevor Johnson and I'm a musician in the Louisville Orchestra. The question today though is what instrument did I bring for you? Now a lot of people on their first guess would say clarinet and that would be a good guess. You'd be very close because you're in the right family of instruments. It's a woodwind family of instruments made of wood and I make sound on the instrument with the wind from my body. But what's a little different about this than the clarinet is that we also have two reeds, two little thin pieces of wood that vibrate to make our sound. So that's not like the clarinet. So sometimes I give the little clue that my instrument sounds a little bit like the part, this part of my body. Hint, hint, hint. It's actually, that's my elbow. <laughs> and this is an oboe. The oboe, like I said, is a part of the woodwind family, like the clarinet. But unlike the clarinet, it has a double reed at the top that makes the sound. Because by itself, the oboe is really just a hollow wooden tube. I can look through and see you there. And um, if I blew my air into it, not really a sound. Because as you know from science class, something has to vibrate in order for us to hear something. And that something on the oboe is the double reed, two little pieces of wood tied together onto a metal tube. And by itself, not a very pleasant sound by itself. You wouldn't come downtown and hear a concert of this, would you? You'd be a very patient person. But we put the double reed into the hollow wooden tube and hopefully the sound will get better. And that's the sound of an oboe. Now, um, composers, and remember who composers are. Composers are people who write the music. A composer named Mozart wrote this piece just for the oboe. He wrote a lot of music when he was about your age, but he wrote this one a little bit later in his life, just for the oboe. Thank you. Yes, it's okay to applaud. I like the applause. Even if I can't hear it right now, that's what makes a concert a real thing. It's not much of a concert when there's no, no one there listening. And I know there's someone there listening, even in this unusual case right here. Now, um, a lot of times these composers like Mozart really like to compose music for the oboe that has a slow tempo. And you remember the word tempo, that's how slow or how fast a piece of music is. Composers often like to write music in a slow tempo for the oboe because it really brings out the unique sound of the instrument, the unique sound of the oboe that's unlike any other instrument. And the word for that unique sound is timbre. And you might have heard that sound. It looks, if you spelled it on a chalkboard, it might look like the word you say when you cut down a tree, timber, but it's actually pronounced timbre. So, like I said, these composers write slow music for the oboe so we can really hear this timbre. And this composer's name was Samuel Barber. He was an American composer. And he wrote this beautiful melody just for the oboe at a slow tempo. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. Keep applauding. Keep applauding. I need to get my air back. It's okay. It's okay. Keep applauding. Okay, enough. You might have noticed something funny about the way I started to look when I played that piece. And you can't say that it's that I'm bald. It's not that funny thing. Okay, keep laughing. Okay, now stop. It wasn't that I was bald. I bet you noticed that the color of my face started to change. Sometimes when you play the oboe, the air gives you some issues. You probably know about all, all breathing and everything from science class. And as an oboist, I breathe just like everyone else. I breathe in what kind of air? Oxygen. I breathe in oxygen just like everyone else. But I can only get rid of however much carbon dioxide can fit through that tiny little opening right there. There it is. So there is a lot of extra carbon dioxide building up inside my body that can't really get out to the reed. So it's actually like pushing on my skin, trying to get out. Maybe I'll get out here. Maybe I'll get out there. Maybe I'll get out here. So you probably noticed that sometimes before I breathe in again, I have to breathe out all that extra carbon dioxide that was trying to get out. So little did you know that music and science can kind of go together. Like I said, the, um, I often play slow tempo music because the composers like the sound of the oboe. But rest assured, we can play kind of fast too. And a faster tempo piece written for the oboe, um, this composer's name was Ravel. And he wrote this just for the oboe and with the, with the orchestra backing up right behind him called Le Tombeau de Couperin. Sometimes you get to say fun um, foreign languages too. And that's a little picture of the oboe, a woodwind instrument that plays kind of the high notes that looks a lot like the clarinet, but makes it sound differently than the clarinet. Have a good day, everyone.